Hi, I'm Jim Preston. Let's check out the Horse Thief Trails. It's a really fun intermediate trail system. Highway 313, which uh, goes up to Dead Horse Point in Canyonlands National Park, it bisects the, uh, the system. And on the upper left side there, we've got Chisholm Trail, which takes you down to Navajo Rocks. And one of my favorites, Rodeo, about a 10-mile trail. And comes out of the campground there, or you can catch it from uh, one of several trailheads. And then we uh, cross over the highway here, and we go into um, this system, which has a, all intermediate. There's some climbing, but the climbing is pretty easy. I usually climb whirlwind. But we're going to drop down and go up some of these. Actually, I'm not going to take you much up it, because that's boring. There are several ways to get... Uh, up to the top of uh, Chisholm, which is the next trail we're going to be riding in the horse thief uh, system. Uh, you know, one is you can go up seven up and then climb up through the horse thief, or you can just go up Chisholm. Or I like to just park at the bottom trailhead at Navajo and just take the road all the way up and then drop Chisholm, Big Lonely, and Big Mesa. Lots of fun that way. And then Ramblin', if you go all the way to the bottom one, like I sometimes do, it's kind of a cool trip and you get about. You know, you get a lot of miles, but you get about nine, about 14 miles of single track. So then you show up uh, on some more slick rock as you get down a little farther. And uh, yeah, a little cliff area here. It's uh, not too exposed, but makes it more fun. And uh, I don't think anybody's going to panic about the height there. So it's pretty well marked, as you can see. You get big views, You're looking uh, pretty much north here. And uh, later we'll be looking over towards Navajo Rocks a bit more. This is a fun little section I like riding through here. It's pretty easy, but you know, a little bit close. Got to watch your knuckles a bit. And you drop down and, um, and just keep dropping down here for a while. It's, yeah, it's pretty and, uh, and it's interesting. Tread's pretty gentle. And a lot of the places here, the uh, when you get back up, uh, to the next, you know, upper layer of rock. It's it's well ramped. So you do it. See, like right here, it's a, just a reinforced ramp with rocks, and and you can you can depend on that on all these trails in the horse thief. Uh, there's not going to be any big surprises where you um, drop down something terribly scary. This is one of my favorite sections of the Chisholm Trail. It's actually one of my favorite sections in horse thief. It's it's pretty through here, and it's you know slightly technical, mid intermediate probably. Maybe some people would think a little bit more. But if you don't crack your knuckles on a rock back there, then, uh, you know, the rest of it looks it's pretty good. And now we get to a cliff section again, and a little more, you know, I don't know, dicey here, but you're a little bit closer. Those who might be concerned about your heights maybe will, you know, struggle a little bit here. But it's really not bad. And it's fun to go along the edge of the cliff. You get a nice, really nice view. You expect to see real dinosaurs out there in the distance, but um, or maybe even up close. But so far, I haven't had any luck with those. I mean, there's ravens, lots of those, and rabbits, lots of those. So we just cross over an oil line. Now we're starting uh, down this flowy section that goes into this little prairie area towards the end of the trail. And then we'll um, we'll climb up that, see on that far side, you see the trees on the far side of the prairie. Uh, we're going to climb up there, and that's where we're going to meet uh, Big Lonely and the, um, the Navajo Rocks Trails. So here we're going to climb up a little bit. And it's pretty easy. I don't, there's not really anything technical here. Sometimes you need energy in a couple of spots. That's about all. It's, it's pretty easy. The sand here can be a little annoying, but it's not deep sand. And now we're up at Big Lonely and Navajo Rocks, and the, the rides from here on down are absolutely fantastic. This is a trailhead uh, on the northeast side of the road, on the Mag 7 side, and we're going to drop down here a little ways, and there'll be a sign, and then we'll start down uh, Mustang Loop, which uh, involves a little climb, uh, nothing technical along that, really. A couple spots you need some energy to get up it, but that's about it. And you get up to the top here, the high point of the Mustang loop. 
kind of a fun little section through here. And then there's really a lot of flowy downhill. Of course, you have to come back up that, but it's it's all gentle, so you can come up any of this. I don't think there's one trail other than another that I would say, you know, go up or down. Uh, there's no preferences that way. So a Mustang Loop is, you know, just this flowy stuff, a little slick rock here and there. You can see out below you towards Navajo Rocks, or looking down towards Navajo Rocks, actually. And uh, you can see, you know, you get some chunk here and there, but it's just a nice ride. Yeah, sort of a cliffy thing, not a big deal. And down here, Mustang Loop continues to the left, but we're going to go down to 7 up and, you know, do kind of the whole thing here. So um, let's drop down Whirlwind. We dropped down there just a little ways, just sort of a short, fast ride down to Wildcat. And now we're going to off in Wildcat. Whirlwind goes on, does its thing. And it's a nice loop. And I generally climb Whirlwind, one of the two branches of the Whirlwind. So yeah, we're dropping down Wildcat now. Now Wildcat doesn't have really any significant technical either. Kind of more of the same. But it's nice down here. And there's, you know, you get up some get up some decent speed and you can roll along, really roll along for miles. It's really, really, really nice. And of course, you have to climb back up that. But the climb is, you know, not particularly hard at all, even for me. And I'm not a great climber. So yeah, here's a little technical spot here, but no biggie. But we're heading down to 7-Up. And 7-Up starts off a single track here for us. Uh, actually, if you're coming up from the bottom, the single track's at the end as it goes up the uh, single track up to Mag 7. So this is where um, Hildago comes in. You can drop down Hildago to 7-Up. Um, I will just take Wildcat. Not a big preference that way. Besides, I kind of like Wildcats. My thing. Grew up with them. Bobcats, actually, they're called. Yeah, now we're coming up to 7-Up. Ah, look at that. Okay, now we're kind of, you know, at the bottom of the system. We're getting close to it. So see, we have single track here, but it doesn't take long before it becomes Jeep Road. And it's Jeep Road all the way down to um, the Vista Point. That's uh, the lowest one on the uh, Highway 313 coming up towards Navajo Rocks, Canyonlands, and so forth. But up here at the top, we've got some single track for a short distance. And then we get to the to the Jeep Road. Then it's, you know, it's got the usual crud and Jeep Roady stuffy. Not really my favorite. I've climbed it before uh, from uh, Middle Earth, Navajo Rocks. You can uh, drop down Coney Island a little bit and then uh, go down towards 7-Up. Uh, and there's a lot of sand right there, by the way. So they've got some, you know, killer climbs that they like. There is a little uh, path here. There's a ramp kind of in the middle that uh, we can get up. If you spot it fast enough, otherwise just hump your bike over it. It's actually unusual to see riders on uh, 7 Up. Not that many people use it. And this is a rocky area with a big uh, big ledge up there, but we're going off to the left, like here. Some places it's a little hard to tell. So that was the, the G separating from the Jeep Road and back to single track. And then from here we're going to uh, climb up. And that's, you know, you kind of whirlwind and you get up there to Mustang Loop and so forth. So from um, the middle trailhead, I guess this would be one of them. We're uh, near the campground. We're going to start down Rodeo. So you go up Chisholm a little bit and then you start dropping down Rodeo. And, and it gets, you know, interesting in several places. It's actually some of the more interesting riding 
mostly intermediate. There might be a couple of spots that'll be uh, you'll walk. Um, if you're a lower intermediate, maybe mid, maybe mid intermediate also. Um, so don't be embarrassed if you do. There's a fair number of people walk them. You can see everything's ramped nicely. So yeah, you can depend on that going up or you know going of course going up. You can see it easy, but if you come up to a, a drop anywhere out here, you're going to find the uh, it's nicely ramped. See, it's all uh, paved kind of for us there as we drop down through this little wash. But it's really nice terrain. It's one of the newer trails, but you know I've been biking here almost twenty years, so uh, all the almost all the trails except Porky and Slick Rock, a couple others are. Are uh, new trails to me here. This is a really nice, really nice spot here. I, I sometimes I kind of clip my knuckles on the rock, so I make it kind of careful along here. But it's a, it's a pretty area. A little bit technical through there. Again, not bad, but it's probably the most technical spot. Yeah, it is the most technical spot uh, on Rodeo Trail. Rodeo Trail, well, a Rodeo Trail is uh, about 10 miles from the trailhead uh, through the whole loop. And yeah, it's just kind of a lot to do. It's just really a nice ride out there. So you've got some downhill flowy stuff. The climb back up is really pretty gentle and... You know, a couple of spots you need to pump some energy into it, but it's really not bad at all. And you, you get down in here and you've got, you know, all the usual slick rock scenes you've seen before. Kind of a fun spot here. The wash is actually a little deeper than it appears on the camera. And then you've got, you know, a little bit of narrowness here that uh, kind of livens up the ride. Some places it's a little bit hard to tell where the trail is. But they have pretty good markings here. I'd like to thank uh, Grand County Moab Trail Mix and BLM and Moab Trails Alliance for building all these great trails for us to ride. If you get a chance to donate, that'd be a really good thing to do. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, see you out on the trails, eh?